Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode by EOS Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate another video. Uh, this is one of the earlier ones. Uh, they do have three of these types by Wonder Fox Soft Incorporated. Uh, there is a video for uh, Wonder Fox DVD Ripper, which strictly does DVDs. Uh, this one I'm going to show you, which is Video Converter Factory Pro. Uh, this one here only does videos that's uh, on the computer's hard drive. Uh, it can be downloaded, it can be uh, off of cameras, uh, any kind of uh, digital format. Uh, this in here will not do DVDs, but it will do other form, uh, video formats in, uh, already on the computer. Uh, the other software that I have showing is uh, the video is for the Wonder Fox uh, DVD video converter. And what that one does is it has more capabilities and it has this type program of its functions and the DVD ripper functions built together. But it also had an added feature because it can also download videos from the internet. Now, be sure to check out my other videos. Uh, be sure to check out the DVD uh, video converter. It does have a lot more options and uh, capabilities to it. Uh, this one here is the, the front window or the first window that you come to when you start Video Converter Factory Pro. Now, you can get a trial version. You can download it from my website at www dot four dash mr fixit dot com and click on the online store at the top and this will take you to my web page to where you can download trial versions now the trial version will allow you to do the same thing I'm going to show you but you do have about a 15 minute limit on the videos that you can convert but it's enough to where you can check the quality check how the program works before you decide to buy it. And of course you can buy the software, any of these softwares that I'm showing, on my website too. Now, as you can see here, it's very simple, it's basic, there's nothing much to it. Uh, you can click Add, choose a profile, which I will show you uh, in other tutorials on how to do all this. Uh, right now I'm just going to give you an overview. Uh, you can choose profiles to where you can set your own and then choose which one you want to use for the video conversion. And then all you have to do next is click start. Now up here at the top you have the menu. Uh, if you click on file you can choose add files or add a whole folder. Uh, you can do it gives you information. You can do preferences and you can also do uh, save profile as so if you uh, set up a profile then you can save it give it a name and then later on if you're doing a video conversion you could choose which profile to, uh, to use it's kinda like uh, configuring a profile and then all you have to do is click on it instead of having to go back reset every little detail the profile will automatically do it now you have the edit which this allows you to remove, uh, you can clear, you can uh, do select alls or you can do profile settings, you can check and uncheck, uh, it gives you some tools which I'll show you some of these later uh, and it gives you an, ad, uh, an option of what you want the software to do when the conversion is completed. You do also have a help menu to where you can purchase it online uh, you can register it. Uh, it takes you to home page, it'll take you to the product page. Uh, it does have a help uh, section to, in case you have a little trouble. Uh, it does have email support and you can choose the about and this will tell you what version you're using. Uh, to get started it's fairly simple. Uh, let's go to file add files 
And now I'm going to go down to uh, computer. Now you can also do other things to where you can go to like desktops. Uh, you can also go to uh, admin. Uh, if I can find it here, there we go. And go to my videos. You can see all the videos here. Now what you can do is I'm going to take this one here, which is a real short one. And as you can see, it's currently in AVI format. Now these I've done for other videos using similar software for uh, Wonderfox, DVD Ripper, and DVD Video Converter. Uh, let me choose Open. Now, as you can see here, it will give you the duration of the video, the size of the video. It will give you the profile that you're currently using, as you can see there. Uh, it's the estimated size after it's completed and the status or the state and in this the case it means that it's ready now we can choose different forms I can go down here and you can choose all a whole slew of different formats for an example for this one here if you're going to do plain videos uh, you can do everything from AVI to 3GP and digital video. Uh, you can do audio. You can take the audio track from the video and it'll convert it to an audio file. You can do high definition videos. Uh, you can do DVDs, video CDs. You can do web formats for like Flash, uh, Shockwave, YouTube, Facebook, and so on. Uh, you can do apples from the iPads, iPhones, Apple TVs. Uh, you can do Samsungs, HTCs, Blackberries, Nokias, Sonys, and even Microsofts. So you have a wide selection. But you can also set it up for yourself. For an instance, down here you'll see video settings. And it all says Smart Fit. That means that the software will automatically choose the best format or the resolution according to the format you're going to convert to. Now if you want to tinker it around, which you can, you can also select what resolution you want. You can choose all the way up from 1080p or you can choose as small as 24160. You can choose now, each format will be different. You will have limited uh, capabilities depending on the encoder, or it depends on the format. For an example, here I can choose between XVID, DIVX, or H.264 as my video encoder. But watch what happens when I choose a different format. For instance, let's go to MOV, which is QuickTime. I can still choose my resolutions, but if I choose the encoder, you'll notice that the encoders have changed. So again, it's based upon what format you're going to convert to as to what encoders you can use. Same thing for the audio settings. It just depends on the format you're going to use as to what audio encoder you can use. Now you can also change bit rates. The higher the bit weight, the larger the file is going to be, but the better the video. You can use a variable bit rate, which what it does is it varies the uh, the bit rate according to what's being what's in the video. Uh, for instance, uh, slow moving video frames where the details don't change very very much this program will use a lower bit rate but fast action fast moving frames where the details are constantly changing at a fast pace then it will use a higher bit rate at that scene so if you use VBR which is variable bit rate 
it can help reduce the file size, but not all devices support VBR. Again, you can choose frame rates. Uh, you can choose uh, if you want to use PAL or NTSS or NTCSC, get tongue tied, as to your uh, video format. Uh, if for North America, uh, NTSC is standard. Uh, for other countries, uh, around the European countries and stuff, they use PAL. Uh, you can do channels. You can choose how many channels that the audio can be used. Uh, you can choose at the bit rate. Again, audio channels, uh, the higher the bit rate, the larger the file, but the better the sound. Uh, sample rate, again, this is the frequency of how often samples are taken. Uh, this, again, the higher the sample rate, the better the sound quality, but the bigger the, sound, the file will be. You can choose subtitles. Uh, and the, again, you know, anytime you change a format, you, it will change your, uh, your options. And it will show you what options you can do for that particular uh, format. Now, we already know that this one here, we can check, and you can also say you can change profiles, you can add effects, you can add a clip to it, uh, you can add, uh, add a crop where you can take certain parts of it out. Like if you, there's this little spot that you wanna focus on and you can crop everything around it and then just have that one little spot. Uh, you can look up information and what this does is it will tell you information about the video in its current form. Now currently you can see the duration, the bit rate, the location where it's located, the size of the file, when it was created, and down here it gives you the video information and the audio information. It'll tell you that the encoder was MPEG-4. The resolution was 720 by 480. The frame rate was 29.97 frames per second. And look at the audio information. And it tells you all the information about the file. Now, it's in MPEG-4. So, let's say, for instance... I want to change it to WMV, which is Windows Media Video. Again, everything is set. All you have to do now is let me change my directory. I'm going to go to uh, videos, my videos, choose OK, and now I can choose start. Now, before you choose start, this will also allow you to preview the video. For instance, just come up. I've got this highlighted. Choose play, and it will let, it will play a preview for it. Now, another thing you can do is when you play and you find a spot. And then you can freeze it. Well, here you have two options. You can use the folder. This will change where you want the snapshots to go. And then once you're done, you choose the, the camera and it will take this snapshot of the frame. And this comes in handy if you're going to post something about a movie or a, a video. And then it will automatically take a picture of it and then you just give it a name and save it and then you can post it now once you have everything set up you have your profile that you're going to use you got your output profile which is a format you're going to convert to the location is going to be listed click start Now, it will give you a target file, show you the file you're going to do. It's going to uh, show you the format it's going to, how far it's gone, and about approximately how much time it has left. 
down here it'll show you where it's going to go and if you want to you can check here and then after the conversion and it's complete it will shut down the computer now as you just heard it beeped and then let me know that it's it's finished and then it goes if you want to open the output folder well if you click yes it opens the output folder now as you can see this one says it's AVI this one if you right click it choose properties it will tell you that it's a Windows Media font video now that we could play it and there's the video we go to full screen and now we can watch the video and as you can see there's not much difference the video quality would depend on several factors depends on the format you're going to use the ratio you're going to use uh, the bit rate you're going to use but remember the more clarity you want to your video the larger the file size now you can set this up for any device as long as your device can support the video format check through your documents well this is basically all there is to do stay tuned I will have some tutorials to show how everything works this is a a tutorial to show you you know the overview of what this software does what it can do uh, it will allow you to merge uh, different scripts or different uh, videos together as one uh, you can do you know add a clip you can do crops uh, add special effects but right now this is all I'm going to show you uh, stay tuned I will show you all the new features and how to do different stuff on this video if you want to try your video out, uh, you do have limitations. Uh, I believe it's uh, up to 15 minutes in the video. Go to my website, www.4-mrfixit.com. Click on me on my um, online store, and you'll have a list of all my software that I'm uh, uh, selling and you could download your trial version from there or you can also purchase the software now this software here uh, it's an all-in-one it does have a lot of capabilities for basic uh, conversion it's all-in-one it's fast it's reliable and as you can see it's easy to use and you can convert nearly all frequently used video formats there's like a, a over a hundred that it will accept you can do high definition videos uh, the camera that I use is high definition high definition it will use those you can convert these to candles and iPads and iPhones Xboxes whatever the format is but be sure that when you convert it to a format know what your devices uh, capabilities are as to what format it will accept and then you can use this convert your, uh, some of your uh, videos to play on your devices well I'm your host Mr. Fixit thank you for watching